Darwin. Hello and welcome to part two of this Mac OS X tutorial. Now this is the one where we install a Kex. I have a link on my other drive. Not that one. No one needs to see that. Here. Right there. This is the link to the Kex. So make sure you regular download, unless you have a premium account, of course. It doesn't take any time at all to download. So we have your texts right here. Get rid of that. Alright, so you have your Hackintosh Kex folder right here. I mean, I already have them here, but that's okay. Good. Yeah. Oh. Whoop. Ah. That was the old one. But anyway, Hackintosh Kex. That's the folder I extracted from the thing I just had. Here's native resolution. Here's audio. Alright, so, the way I did it, I actually installed the Kex first, then installed OS X 10.5.8, and then I reinstalled the Kex. I don't know if it would just work installing 10.5.8 without these Kex. What I would do, it's kind of no, no waste of time. I would, here's Kex helper, by the way, it's in the, it's in the native resolution folder. Safely open it. This is why I said you needed a password earlier, because this requires it. But, what you want to do first here is, for Kex, you highlight both of these in the native resolution folder. Do not hit install just yet. What you want to do now is go to your Mac OS X drive, right here. See how this files right here? DST.m. Oh, actually, you won't see that. You might not. Do this first. Go to Applications. Is it? Um. You need to find Show Hide Files. Where is it? System Preferences. Have it maybe. Is it? That's what it is. So now you have to find show hide files. Make sure it's set to show all these files. See how a bunch of files just popped up. Now you'll have this here. Okay, let's find that again. Whoops. See, now a bunch of files showed up. Now that we have this here, copy it. Copy it. I already have it on my drive, so I don't need to. Now on the in here you're gonna want to find the same file. I don't think it'll have the black background, but you're gonna want to find dsdt.aml, delete it, and then paste your new one in. Now what you finally want to do is put in your password and click easy install. It should take about 30 seconds or so to install, and then you're going to have to reboot your computer. And you should, if it's not native resolution already, what you would have to do, let's open up the drive, you'll need to go to Applications, Settings, wherever that was, System Preferences, yep. And now go to Displays, and see, this is what you would. This would be the last option. This would be the new native resolution. Right there. That would be only after you re reboot with Kex Helper though. So once you do that, you also want to install audio. Let's go back to that folder. 
so let's hope enough Kex help her again. I probably could have left it open, but oh well. Open Kex helper in the native res folder. Audio. Here's both of the Kex you need. There's nothing special for this. Just drag these Kex over to Kex helper. Type in your password, and then easy install. And after you install, reboot the computer, and you should have sound. You should have one of these things in the corner, and you should have sound working. Now, if you go the route I did, and install those kecks first, then go to 10.5.8, you will, need, you, will, you will have to install them again. All you have to do is do the exact same thing. But for now, what you want to do to upgrade to 10.5.8, you don't need to download anything special. Go to Software Update. It'll take a second for this to load, so I'll just turn Okay, so it's finally finished. What you will see here is a bunch of updates. Ignore them all until you get 10.5.8. You will find 10.5.8 update in here. I promise you, uncheck them all except that one. So when you do that, it, it'll take about maybe 10, 5 to 10 minutes, but it, will, it should work. And this would, this would obviously be after rebooting and reinstalling. I'm, this would be after rebooting for both the kecks you installed as a reminder. So they'd already be installed and working. But um, then what you do is have that installed, you reboot, you should be in 10.5.8 now, once it reboots and installs, it works just fine for me, but you, you're going to lose native resin audio most likely if you did it the way I did it. So all you have to do is follow the steps from earlier, and go back to hacking tosh Recopy this to the hard drive, to the Mac OS X. Oh, camera sagging. Copy this full of file again to the hard drive, the root of your Mac OS X drive. Reinstall both of these kecks with Kex Helper, like you just did before. And reinstall the audio kecks like before. And it'll all work. And you will have a fully working. 10.5.8 Hackintosh. Now you can download all your programs or do whatever you want because they all work just the same as an Intel based Mac or, or a Mac. The only thing you don't have is Quartz Extreme. It's safe to install all the updates, although some of them might. So that is all for part two of this tutorial, which was installing Kex and 10.5.8. Next part will be getting Windows back and partitioning, or bootloader partitioning, whatever. And thank you for watching.